off in the Monday opener. Breaking for the lead on the inside. Here comes Road in Stone up to take the early advantage. Outside in second is going to be Mark DeMoose and Gunlap. Another link back on the outside. Creative Choice and Cloud Play is the early trailer. Some four and a half from the run front runner. Road in Stone. Albert Wallencar out there at seven to one's got the advantage over Gunlap sitting in second. We drop back another two and a half links to Mark DeMoose, Creative Choice, and Stole the back is Cloud Play. Quarter 22 and three fifth seconds. Road in Stone trying to wire the field pressure from Gunlap who's right there within a long neck second another two and a half lengths back to mark the moose now cloud play beginning to move through on the inside up into fourth and at the back is create a choice it's still road in stone with the lead right there second is Gunlap in third up the rail comes cloud play mark the moose in with a chance on the outside then create a choice at the back off the turn road in stone has the lead and is the one to catch up the inside cloud play trying to get there and is now now coming after the leader on the far outside, Mark the Moose is also coming late. Cloud play with the lead. Pablo Morales, our leading rider here, going on to victory here. The battle for second on the outside, Mark the Moose out finishes Rote in Stone. And for the Super, Gunlap was fourth. Winning time, 116-3. They are in the gate. Here we go. On the outside, it's Hidden Springs breaking alertly, driving up the rail. There goes Tuned Up. Furthest out is Rio Della Moore. And then up between horses, Hold Me Closer now moves all the way up and takes second. Back and forth along the inside is Motito. Then comes Rio Della Moore. And at the back early is going to be Geared Up and Vaccina. They head down the back side and tuned up out there with a the lead by two lengths. In second, hold me closer, trying to reel in the front runner. Those two clear by two and a half on Hidden Springs. Then comes Motito underway in fourth. Another link back to Rhea Delamore. Then comes Vaccina and up the inside at the back is going to be geared up. Right now, it's still tuned up, holding the advantage. Longest shot on the board at 34 to 1. Hold me closer, trying to reel that one in. Sits in second. Then another two and a half lengths back to the favorite, Motito. And that one's joined on the outside there by Geared Up. And at the back of the pack is going to be Hidden Springs and Mexina. Half mile, 49 and 2 fifth seconds. There goes Hold Me Closer. Pablo Morales up to take the lead. But right behind him, Motito, the favorite, and Ronald Allen Jr. gobbling up ground and coming after the leader on the outside. Right behind them is tuned up on the rail. Then comes Vaxina putting a late bid down the center of the track. Off the turn and Hold Me Closer has the lead. Motito trying to run that one down. Vaxina's up into third and gaining up the rail. Then comes Geared Up. Right now, Hold Me Closer has the lead outside Motito all out but Pablo Morales wins the daily double both halves back in second Motita then came Vaccina and third running fourth was geared up winning time 139 and two there in the gate and they're up then racing in the third Right to the lead goes Worldly Beauty, joined on the inside there by another day gone by. Up into third, that is Anna L. Another link back to Wine with a Rose, then comes Funny at the back. They head to that turn, Worldly Beauty and Pablo Morales with the advantage. Up into second comes Anna L, back racing in third. That is going to be another day gone by. Then another link back to Wine with a Rose, trying to make up some ground, and funny, can see them all. It's still Worldly Beauty, Pablo Morales looking for three in a row. Anna L and Scott Spieth on the outside coming after the leader. So is Wine with a Rose on the outside, moving quickly from third. And then another day gone by down on the inside. We'll look for racing room. It's Worldly Beauty, Anna L, angling between horses. Here comes another day gone by, trying to get the Worldly Beauty. These two as they head to the wire. Worldly Beauty and Pablo Morales outside. Another day gone by. A worldly Beauty and another day gone by. Worldly Beauty will not be denied. Three in a row for Pablo Morales. Back in third, Anna L. And Wine with a Rose finished fourth. Winning time, 59 and five. Two fifth seconds. 
Rothman racing in the fourth. A good even break. From the inside, it's Lightning Charlie along with You Must Be a Weasley vying for the lead. Outside in third comes Ambush. And further out, that is Hofberg Palace making his way over to the rail. And from the back of the pack, Blunder and Pizza Charlie. As they cruise into that first turn, the battle up front. The leader is on the outside, Lightning Charlie. You must be a Weasley right there, settled back in second. Stocking that group in third is ambushed. Then racing in the fourth spot, Hofburg Palace. Another three lengths back to Blunder, who's got a lot to do. And Pizza Charlie can see them all. The pace setter remains Lightning Charlie out there with a two-length advantage over You Must Be a Weasley. Now moving on the far outside in third, Hofburg Palace has come alive and coming after the top pair. Right behind them is going to be Ambush. Then underway now, Blunder is up with the group. Pizza Charlie can still see them all. Opening half, one in 49 and three. It's being set by Lightning Charlie and Albert Burgos on the outside second. You must be a Weasley coming back for more. Behind them racing third is Hofburg Palace. Then in fourth comes Ambushed. And then it's going to be Blunder trying to make up some about five lengths. And he's coming quickly. And the trailer remains Pizza Charlie. Short lead still for Lightning Charlie. On the move between horses is Hofburg Palace. There on the outside comes You Must Be a Weasley. Outside is Ambush. And down on the rail now Blunder coming quickly after the leader. Lightning Charlie. Charlie try to hold it together for the rest of the way. Down the center of the track, Blunder, and outside, that is you must be a Weasley, Hofburg Palace between horses, but Lightning, Charlie is lightning fast today. Much the best goes on to win by four over you must be a Weasley. Back in third was Blunder. Unofficial winning time, 143 and two. And they're off in the fifth. Break for the lead on the outside. Let peace prevail. Shows speed. Being joined down by Old 442. On the far outside, that is going to be Lawn Dart up into second now as Old 442 drops back to be third. Another link on the inside, Samurai Zip. Then comes Leave It Alone Larry. And at the back early is going to be Captain Mad Jack. Into the turn they go. Let peace prevail with the lead. Gadiel Martinez. But Lawn Dart and Antonio Giardo are right there alongside challenging for the lead. Old's 442. Two stocks that pace in third. Then is a gap of three lengths back to Leave It Alone Larry. Samurai Zip and still trailing is Captain Mad Jack. Short lead for Lawn Dark on the inside. Let Peace Prevail trying to stick with him. Meanwhile, on the outside, Old 442 moving nicely up the challenge for the lead. Behind them comes Samurai Zip and Leave It Alone Larry. Up the inside is Captain Mad Jack at the back. Three of them across the track. Outside, Old 442 takes the lead. Back in second, Let Peace Prevail. Between horses is Lawn Dart, and on the outside, Samurai Zip trying to make a late move. And from out of the clouds, Captain Mad Jack closing swiftly. Old 442 gets the job done over Captain Mad Jack. Samurai Zip was third. Photo for fourth between Let Peace Prevail and Lawn Dart. Winning time, 110 and 4 fifths seconds. There in the gate. And they're off and racing in the sixth at Presque Isle Downs. General on a mission set out after the lead, but Bourbon Brown is two, and Bourbon Brown up to take the lead. Between horses third comes Big Frank, then on the rail Sportini, followed by the favorite Alpha Predator, and Dominant Factor is the early trailer. As they make their way to the turn, out there with the lead, the pace setter is Bourbon Brown. Antonio Giardo has the lead, just about a length and a half better than General on a Mission. Back racing third comes Big Frank. Then on the inside, Sportini about to be joined by the favorite. Alpha Predator underway now. Another three or four lengths back to the trailer. Dominant factor. It's still Bourbon Brown has the lead with General on a Mission trying to run that one down. Racing into the third spot. Here comes Big Frank waking up today. Then towards the inside Sportini, Alpha Predator, and a long ways the dominant factor. It's still Bourbon Brown holding that lead between horses. General on a mission. Outside in third, Big Frank is there. Then comes Sportini. And to the outside, Alpha Predator. The trailer remains dominant factor. It's Bourbon Brown out there at 7-2 to two, trying to make every step a winning one. Sportini has come alive up the inside. Now takes second away from General on a mission. To the far outside, Big Frank, then comes Alpha Predator, and another six or seven to the trailer, Dominant Factor.
Down on the inside, Bourbon Brown holding that lead. Sportini right alongside the challenge. Back racing in the third position. Here comes Alpha Predator, the favorite on the outside coming alive. So is Big Frank down the center. It's Bourbon Brown holding the advantage, but there goes Alpha Predator, the favorite at three to five, up to take the lead. Back in second, it's trying to hold on. Sportini joined outside by Big Frank, but Alpha Predator gets the lead. Photo finish between Sportini and Big Frank for second. Back in fourth was Bourbon Brown. The winning time, 139 and 1. And they're off in the seventh. On the outside, going for the lead is straight out of Dutton with Del Griffith there to join that one. Another length and a half back to Franz Joseph along with Big Boss Ben. Then to the outside in fifth is Quartermaster. Another two lengths back towards the inside to Press Snooze. And McQueen's Bullet, the late closer, can see them all. Right now, straight out of Dutton, David Delgado trying to wire the field. He's got the advantage by a good three lengths. In second is Del Griffith. Then matching strides are Franz Joseph inside of Big Boss Ben. Another length back to Quartermaster of the outside, then three more back to Press News, and still trailing the field is McQueen's Bullet. The pace setter straight out of Dutton's got the lead, but inching closer, Del Griffith is in pursuit of the leader. Back along the inside is Franz Joseph, and looking to move on the outside, Big Boss Ben. Further out comes Quartermaster, and behind the group, Press News needs racing room. McQueen's Bullet now mounting a bit up the inside. Any one of this group can win it. On the outside, here comes Del Griffith, after straight out of Dutton, desperate for room on the rail. Franz Joseph trying to squeeze through on the far outside. Here comes Big Boss Ben trying to get to him. Big Boss Ben on the outside. Up the rail, Franz Joseph. Franz Joseph gets the win. Photo finish for the rest between Big Boss Ben, Quartermaster, and straight out of Dutton. Winning time, 117-1. and one. Macroletta steps up. They're in the gates. And they're off in the eighth. My girl, Melly, comes out running for the lead between horses. Libertalia is there. Three wide of the group is too sweet for me. Then we move back towards the inside. Getting a ground-saving trip is Molisa. And another link to half back on the outside. Um, Macroletta then comes Bunny Princess. And the early trailer is going to be Dial Me Again. They head around the turn and to the backside. And out there with the lead, it's Libertalia. Ronald Allen Jr.'s got the lead by a length and a half, too, over my girl Melly. Back third towards the inside comes CJ's Cat 5. Another length and a half back to you. Too sweet for me. Then about three. Down on the inside to Molisa. Joined outside by Macroletta. Then comes Bunny Princess. At the back, dial me again. Right now, Libertalia's got the advantage and holding on as they make their way to that final turn. In second on the inside, CJ's Cat 5. My girl, Melly, third to the outside. Another length and a half back to my sweet, too sweet for me. And then down along the inside, mounting a big bid is Molisa. They went the half in a time of 48 and one fifth second. It's still Libertalia holding the advantage around the turn. He's clear by three lengths. Racing second on the far outside. Here comes the late bet on the outside from Macroletta. Back towards the inside. Molisa in with a chance. And then moving up on the far outside from the back of the pack. Dial me again. Dial me again is coming after Macroletta. And in between horses comes Molisa. It's Molisa darting towards the rail. Outside. Dial me again. It's one of these two in between horses. Macroletta hanging tough. Dial me again. Rings up a winner. Pablo Morales. What a day. That makes five winners on the card. Settling for second is Molisa, and Macroletta was third long way back and forth to Bunny Princess. Winning time, 139 and 3 fifth seconds.